far one of the most exciting launches of 2020 is the Airbus ACJ 220. We observed during the last years uh, the demand for larger cabin increasing. Uh, if you look at the size of the, the business jet, uh, the size is increasing. During the last 10 years, it's 20 to 30 percent more, more bigger. Uh, but having a perfect combination in between the range and the size, it's brand new. It's new. And the ACJ220 is, uh, is answering to, to, that, to that segment. Uh, Comlex is very experienced, mm -hmm. very experienced in, uh, in not only in outfitting, but also in operating our ACJ. Uh, they bought 20 uh, ACJ during the last 20 years. So uh, we, are, we know each other very well and we put together uh, our knowledge, our experience, our skills, our engineer, in order to, to design this, uh, this product, this complete product, the platform plus the cabin. And so we, we enter with, uh, with Comlex in a part partnership for the 15 first uh, cabin, exclusive partnership on the, on the ACJ220. For Comlex to be here today, it's a unique event. Yeah. Uh, when we start this project with uh, Benoit many months ago, we, uh, we immediately understood that there was uh, an opportunity to make uh, an unbeatable aircraft by all means. So uh, with our experience of operator plus our experience of completion centers, we believe that we can be the, the, the right partner for Airbus. And uh, as a friend of mine says, when there is a will, uh, there is a way. And we're delighted to have three of the people who are bringing this project to life. Richard Ganoa is Executive Chairman and CEO of Comlux. Darren Dreyer is CEO of Complex Completions. And Benoit Deforge, President of ACJ. You're designing, you know, a, a work of art. Yes, a, a work of art that has to give the, that client that unique sense, you know, that special touch. It has to have the full functionality, the full connectivity. So all elements have to come together. So when you think of all those people, all being able to collaborate, all being able to join, it's really quite amazing and rewarding. And it's so subjective how something looks or, or you're, you, know, you have a team of craftsmen who, you know, right. who have their way of doing it. You have uh, Sylvain Marat in Airbus who has his vision. How do you get everyone working to, you know, on the same page? Well, it was amazing how close to the same page we were. You know, the design element is, uh, it really lends itself to allow uh, several different options, which are all set up in, in advance. And uh, I think the overall experience of both companies kind of drive you to the solution that kind of fits what you're looking for. Uh, they had the experience in the ergonomics functionality, uh, what the client would be looking for from a market standpoint. And then my team was able to come in and make uh, suggestions on how this would better bring functionality, robustness, uh, and a better user interface to also not only uh, accommodate maybe the, the visual, but also, hey, we need to make sure that uh, we also accommodate the, the look, the openness, and the, and the, uh, the flow, the, all the systems. We always have to remember it's a room, but it's also a living environment in a very hostile environment. So all that has to come together to meld, to make it the optimized solution for our client. Richard, you know both companies very well. Are you, you know, did you have concerns at the start about how not collaboration would work? Not at all, because I, I knew them, uh, they were a place to say that uh, uh, when you are an international team, you are very rich because you are getting opinion from different culture and, uh, and then uh, I think you are really uh, enriching the definition and, uh, and then the team is really working in full cooperation, exchanging opinions. Uh, and I believe that uh, on top of that, you know, because we are with the 20 plane we bought on our Airbus and they're now 22 with this two, uh, 220, we are more than 15,000 of experience in operations. And that's very important, I think, it, and that was the... We have involved our guys in, uh, in Comics Aviation, the operator, to look as well at, at, at the concept, at the, at the operational style. As um, you know, I was yesterday in a meeting with them, and for example, the IPC of this aircraft will be full digital. We are moving to standards which are really going high. And, uh, and I believe that the, from an operation standpoint, you don't want to have a pilot to go with 25 kilo of, of manuals. That would not be understandable in an aircraft so modern. 
So we have put together the operations, the experience in operations with more than 15,000 hours on Airbus, together with the experience of the guys here in, uh, in uh, Indianapolis. And then, you know, they did uh, 319, 320, 321, 330. I have no doubt that the 220 will be, uh, uh, on one hand, the flagship of complex aviation, because we will be operating the first one. And the facility where I am right now is going to be dedicated only uh, to ACJ220. We are hardly waiting to receive the first one. As part of the negotiations with you, we discuss you know, what layout I want and roughly what's finishing, or, or does that come later? Well, that's the beauty uh, of the work we, we perform together in between Comlax and Airbus corporate jets. It's with that we, you have a combination of, uh, of uh, six areas in the aircraft. Uh, the, spot, the floor space is 73 square meters, so it's a very wide cabin uh, with six areas. Then you can select the function you want to have in each and, uh, and, and of, the, of the areas. And then you have three ambiance uh, available for, for on, on the market. So that, that's a low more than 100 combination. So it means that based on the flexible catalog concept, you, you will have a unique, uh, a perfectly unique cabin and uh, dedicated to, to, to a given customer. Uh, so that will be an easy choice, quite comparat comparable, comparable, sorry, to the, to the, to the other uh, BIS jet. Uh, but uh, but very very specific and very unique at the end. Darren, can you take us through the three inspirations? We have the uh, Avant Garde, which is a modern design. It has a lot of high contrast in the materials. Uh, also, there is the Timeless, which is more classic, uh, light wood grains, uh, straight lines, and uh, also the Quintessence, which is actually currently in work and being finalized. So uh, all of them will give you a, a unique experience. And when you couple that, that unique experience with all the different modules that we're developing, it actually give you more than 80 different permutations of what this cabin could look like. And to ensure when we go to market, it's fully functional, very robust, give you a strong feel, you know, a feel of timelessness to that aircraft and also full functionality, full connectivity and, and be modern, innovative and exceeding all expectations. Benoit, do you know where the inspirations come from? I, I, will, I will say the same than, uh, than Richard. When a designer is working with customers, he, he has to bring his home design added value, but he has to, to design something for a customer. And based on our experience, uh, we know that this difference ambiance uh, we represent uh, the value standards uh, of, of the customers. And so it's why we decided to go with these three ambiance in order to, to offer to our customers the values, uh, the values uh, feeling that they want to have in their own aircraft. Uh, that's where it comes from. Does anyone um, have a standout feature they'd like to discuss? Well, for me, I'm, I'm most interested by the really clean interior look. Uh, it's, 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 not very, it's not cluttered. It's, it, goes, it's, it takes almost the, the full diameter of the cabin to maximize that space. And a very, very, very good headroom uh, compared to uh, other aircraft in its class. And what I really like is Sylvain also brought design elements to that cabin liner to really set it apart and catch the eye and bring the wow factor, but it doesn't sacrifice that headspace. So it's, I, I really like the liner system also coupled with the shades. We're going to use electrochromatic shades, which give it a cleaner look. So you can get the full blackout capability without having the, the typical accordion shade that may be associated with a, a VIP biz liner. Richard? Well, me, I would like to say uh, uh, that uh, this uh, cooperation with Airbus is, uh, is a fantastic opportunity for Comlax because, of course, the size of the company is, is different. But I believe that because we are small and, and, and uh, flexible and, and we have an operation, an experience in operation and in conditions, I think we, we can bring to, uh, to Airbus uh, an added value. Uh, I believe many, many aircraft uh, of the of this project will be coming here. 15 is just the start. 
uh, there will be many more. There is a, there are marketing analysis that Abbas did, which shows that uh, there are opportunity for several hundred of this plane. And I would like to insist on the fact that, to me, with my experience, I believe this is really a, a new aircraft uh, uh, coming. It's a new business jet. We are opening a door where before you had to choose between range and, and space, and today you are both at the same time for a price which is really uh, uh, competitive. And I think it's very promising for others and for Comdax. I'm sure we're going to be successful. And as I said uh, many times, when there is a will, there is a way. And despite COVID, despite the challenge, despite the video, we found the solutions to meet. And uh, between Zurich and Yankees, we are. It's an it's an next door for for Toulouse people or on those people. Benoit, when you're you and your colleagues are out selling it, and when you have one that you can walk people into, is there anything you think is going to really wow customers? Inside the cabin, you want to to ask. The, the way we are using the space is very interesting. And I have to admit that uh, the result of the, the, the common work, uh, which was performed, is very interesting. You have a, this feeling of space uh, in, 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 the, in the cabin, which is very interesting. The modernity, uh, Darren spoke about it also. Uh, it's not a, it's with the window shades, with the connectivity, it's with the, the, the decision we made about the screen. Uh, knowing that most of the customers now they have their own personal uh, devices but the welcome inside the cabin will be impressive uh, this uh, this cuisine and bar which we have designed in the front i don't know if you saw the video it's wow uh, it's very different compared to it's 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 a kind of a, uh, french ambiance you can find in certain in certain bar uh, where it's, it's also a space where, where the, the crew will have to work at some time, but where you can have some, some also good time having a drink with friends, uh, having a, a snack and, and, and spending some time. So it's, it was important for us to, to, to use all the, all the space which we can use in this cabin. And I think it's, it's really, really nice place. Darren, you've touched on technology in the cabin. You talked about the uh, electrochromatic window shades and we've, if you've been touched on connectivity, what else is there inside the cabin? Or will there be? Well, there'll be a large uh, 55 inch monitor, HD monitor, full connectivity, full Wi Fi. That means uh, connectivity, obviously, through your wireless device uh, to allow streaming and, uh, and uh, interaction in and off the aircraft for the, uh, the client. Uh, we have uh, there's, there's not just the design of the interior itself, but also how the interior is constructed to support the performance expectation. You know, we do keep the client at heart in terms of the aesthetic, but we also have to keep that performance in mind because we always have to remember that the aircraft in and of itself has a, has a purpose and that's to convey that client. He's got a mission, we have to meet that mission. So our mission is to give them all the op opportunity to select uh, a, a unique, layout with an aesthetic that they love, but also design that interior to ensure they meet the mission that they intend to meet. 